Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. That is we have given a circle and there is a curve over the circle whose length is 4 units. And there is a perpendicular bisector to the curve whose length is 1 unit which divides the curve into two equal segments. Here we have to find out the radius of this circle. How can we solve this math problem? Here I will try to solve this problem using two different methods. One is by using Pythagoras theorem and one by using Cord's rule. So here first we will apply the Pythagoras theorem. To apply Pythagoras theorem here we have to make a right angle triangle here. So for that first of all here we will connect this point with the center and also expand this perpendicular bisector to connect it with the center. Now let us suppose this is point A, this is point B, and this is point C, so this will be point D and this will be point E. Now look into this right angle triangle, triangle ACE. Here this is a right angle triangle where the length of A is 2 units and here AC is the radius of this circle so this will be R units. And what will be the length of this side? Here this ED is 1 units and this CD is the total radius. So this segment CE will be R minus 1 units. Now here we have these three sides of the right angle triangle. So here we will use the Pythagoras theorem and we will find out this one radius. So the Pythagoras theorem is Now the Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So here our hypotenuse is r, perpendicular is r minus 1 and base is 2 units. So here we substitute these values here in this one equation. So hypotenuse is r, so this will become r square, perpendicular is r minus 1 whole square plus base is 2 square. So simple this is r square and this is an algebraic identity a minus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times a b. So this will become r square plus 1 square is simply 1 minus 2 times r times 1 which is 2r plus 2 square is simply 4. And here there is r square in both sides we can cancel them with each other and this is negative 2r so we will move this to the right hand side so it will become positive 2r. So this will become 2r is equal to 1 plus 4 is simply 5. So this will be 5. Now we'll divide both sides by 2. So this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled. And then this 5 by 2 it gives him about 2.5 units. So here our radius in this case is 2.5 units. So this is our required answer and required target. And we will try to solve this problem using the second method. So in the second method we will solve this problem here. Now again we have the same circle, the same chord and the same perpendicular bisector. We have to find out the radius of this one circle. So here we will use a chord rule. Now to use a chord rule here first of all this is one chord and here for the second chord we will expand this perpendicular bisector such that it connects the point oh, center. That is, this is C. So first here we explain this perpendicular bisector. Now let us name the chords. So let us suppose this is our chord AB. And this is our chord. This is point C. So this is, let us suppose this is point D. And this is point E. And let us suppose this is point F. Now here in this case we have two chords. Chord AB and chord DE inside this circle. So here we will use a chord result which states that the product of two segments of one chord will be equal to the product of two segments of the second chord. So here we will use a chord rule, a chord result. No. This chord rule states that the product of A F times F B will be equal to df times fe so this will become here af times 
एफ पी विल बी इक्वल टू डी एफ टाइम्स एफ ई Now let's substitute the values from here. Here's a f and a b are two units, where d f is one unit, and this length is not known. So we will find out this one. So this is two units times this is also two units is equal to this is one unit times we have to find out this one then f e. So this is two times two is four. So four is equal to f e. And here the length of this F E from F to E is four units. Now, as we know that, look to this one called D E. This is actually the diameter of this circle. So it means that here the diameter is four plus one, which is five units. So in this case, our diameter. Is equal to D E, which is four plus one five units. As we know that the radius of any circle is the half of its diameter. So here in this case, our radius will become diameter divided by two. So here our diameter is five, so it becomes five by two. Now five by two is simply two point five. So here again the radius. in this case is 2.5 units so this is our required target so here our this radius from c to e or cd is 2.5 units so this is our required target the last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting and step by step math videos Thanks for watching